right, uh, hello everybody. Hello to my new subscribers and old alike. Showing off a few things in the background there. See various manufacturers. Uh, do a few shout outs. Uh, Kane's Custom Garage. Uh, I did a video yesterday. Gave me a shout out. Uh, along with several other people. Um, I'm thankful for that. And kind of did a reveal on uh, my other channel. Which is Axe and the Curve. <laughs> Um, I did that because, uh, this one, Brian Two Bears, at the time was, uh, yeah, I was wanting the, the channel to grow, didn't understand why it wasn't growing and trying to do things to help it grow, so I thought I'd start another channel. A lot of channels, big channels, have other channels, and I thought maybe one or the other will go. Uh, there's a lot of thick humor over there, um. Uh, if you don't get it, that's just my sense of humor. It's kind of strange, I guess. I don't show my face or talk over there. Uh, but this one, uh, I do do a lot of talking, you might say. Um, today, we're tearing down uh, Jamie's 660. Uh, this is an OEM steel uh, MS660. And I will say right now, uh, this is going to seem off-topic for you Axe guys that have been uh, subscribing during I've seen a lot of growth during this uh, cordwood challenge stuff but uh, uh, some of my better videos are chainsaw oriented mostly mechanic videos uh, so this may seem, may seem off topic to you but it's it's kind of what I've been doing from the get-go uh, tractors uh, log cabins axes you know kind of kind of showing what I'm doing but uh, uh, Jamie is a good friend of mine. Uh, a lot of the equipment and saws that you see on Axe and the Curve are his, the trucks his. Uh, he's a real good friend of mine. Uh, he's a logger. Uh, he's a manager. Uh, he's a caretaker. He's a cattle farmer. Uh, he's a mechanic. And from time to time I get to spend some time with him. And uh, he had asked me to find him a 660. And I was unsuccessful. And we kind of talked about the farmer tech route um, several years back. I tried to find a 660 reasonable and could not. But uh, we wound up finding this one, and uh, he did and got a really good buy on it. Uh, it's all OEM, everything on it. And we talked about going forward what we would do. Uh, on a steel saw, every component that is an OEM steel saw will have the mark on it, the steel uh, insignia. And let's see if we can get that focus. Right there. Right there you can see it. Every piece on the saw should have that little insignia right there. It's an S. So I've, I've looked this one over. We'll talk about this as I begin to tear it down. Um, let me get the pan the camera over here. We did a quick uh, compression check on it. Uh, so you see that? Uh, the 660 is a pretty heavy saw. A uh, saw with good compression will hold itself up. I don't know what all that clicking and carrying on is about. We'll get into that later. Uh, so then we pull the muffler. Uh, if we look inside here, we see that the uh, piston is scored badly. Um, and then to turn the engine over. Uh, we get a view on the inside of the cylinder on the back. It looks good. So I'm thinking we can clean that cylinder up. And he and I had talked about options. Um, I like personally to stay with OEM. On steel stuff, as far as the timing goes, uh, trying to stay away from machine work. Okay, uh, that noise, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is coil wire. Okay, here we go. Look here. Somebody has probably begun to take that apart. Coil wire was in the flywheel. 
So that's good. I wasn't sure about what that noise was. That's good. That's a good good sign. So anyway, um, I stuffed. Uh, that's another thing. Uh, Indiana Doug talked about uh, me discussing some of the tools of the trade. Um, I've got some real heavy rope I stuffed in the plug, the spark plug hole, and then used a six point impact and a ratchet and broke the the clutch loose. Um, something that I found interesting. Uh, and this saw has an eight pin or eight groove sprocket on it. Uh, that's kind of strange. Most of the stuff that I run across has a seven. And this is, an, again, a, an OEM part. Um, I recently bought a, uh, a clutch drum and, and sprocket for a 661, and that's what came with it. So I don't know if they're putting those on them from the factory or what, but uh, you guys might chime in about that. That's an eight pin factory on a, a steel 660. So evidently this one has been uh, straight gassed. That is uh, uh, no mix in the oil or a piece of carbon has dropped off. And uh, ate the cylinder. So we spin the clutch off. Uh, that's another thing, your clutch uh, thread's going to be left-handed. Um, spin that clutch off. Uh, as far as the wire on that sprocket, uh, it is ready to be rotated. Looks like they run the, the great majority in one direction. Hadn't rotated that. Just some of the things I look for is we're tearing it down. So we'll pressure test uh, this crankcase if the bearings are good. And uh, they seem to be, it seems to be pretty tight. I'll pull the, the fan side off and we'll clean everything and pressure test it. If our seals are good and the bearings seem to be good, we will not split the cases. Uh, another thing, shout out to Mr. Kane. Uh, I'm going to clean uh, the fan side of the pull cover up. And we're going to wire brush it and um, hit it with some of that... Uh, etching primer after we degrease everything, etching primer and then paint the, the fan side and the clutch cover. Uh, another thing I kind of scratched some of the filth off, you'll, you'll see as we talked about the OEM uh, steel markings on everything. So if you're buying a, a 660, uh, look for that stuff. It's going to have it on the crankcase. Um, we may not pull the tank, I don't know, but if we pull the tank you'll see it under there. You'll see it on the tank. Uh, all over. So there's nothing wrong with buying an aftermarket saw or but if you're paying for steel OEM that's what you want and that's that's what he's got and he's done well. Um, so we'll continue to tear this down. Uh, we'll probably do a first startup on this channel and then run it on Axe and the Curve. So uh, thank you guys for watching and that's what we're doing right now.